In fact, it can be quite complicated, especially for some older homes. You might find you have to change your insulation. You have to, you know, change all your windows. You have to look at all your doors. You need to look at all your appliances. You need to look at your heating and cooling system. Hi, this is Anita from the Real Estate Crunch Podcast where we give you little tidbits and information that we learn about real estate in a few quick minutes. I want to talk a little bit today about net zero home versus a net zero ready home. A lot of people are talking about net zero. And what exactly does net zero mean? Well, net zero means that when you have a home that is net zero, it means that you do not need to rely upon the electric company to supply any of your electricity or your electrical needs for your home throughout the entire year. So just putting a few solar panels on top of your home does not make it a net zero home. A net zero home really is about you not using any electricity from the from the electrical company. You don't pay any of that utility. Your solar panels are enough that you are able to supply your own electrical needs, usually through solar power, sometimes it's through wind, but it's through some other alternate source of energy. But you know, having a net zero home is not just as easy as, like I said before, sticking the solar panels on your roof. There's lots of things that are involved with that and that, you know, your appliances should be appliances that don't use a lot of electricity. Your windows should be windows where you know, you, you know, the cold air doesn't come in or you don't let the air conditioning out. But, you know, it shouldn't be just, it needs to be about the structure of your house, your heating and cooling systems. Everything, you know, about your home should be built and organized in such a way that your home is a net zero home. But sometimes now with some of these, especially modular home companies, they might say to you, well, we have a home which is net zero ready. Now, net zero ready does not mean the home is net zero. In fact, normally when they say a home is net zero ready, they're basically saying that the home has been produced in such a way that the walls are tight. There won't be any type of you know, air going through the walls that would cause the home to you know, waste energy that they're using a type of um, heating and cooling system that won't waste energy, that the appliances are, you know, such appliances that it will not waste any energy, and that basically all aspects of the home are ready for you to become a net zero home, but it doesn't include any of the solar panels or your energy source for you to be a net zero home. So there really is quite a difference between these two when somebody says your home is net zero ready versus a net zero home. The net zero ready essentially is just that you can become net zero if you choose, where a net zero home means that your home is already net zero or is not using any type of electricity from the electrical company. You know, I would recommend that anybody who is looking to build a new home, that you consider to at least make sure your home is net zero ready. You know, that doesn't mean that you need to have your home be net zero, but if your home is net zero ready, then if you decide that you need to go to net zero, or if you're getting, you know, if the government starts saying like, look, we're gonna give you extra money if you put solar panels on your roof, and if you can show us that your home is a net zero home, you'll get such and such a tax break. Then your home is already ready for that and you don't need to worry about it. The reason is, is to actually have a net zero ready home is not as easy as it sounds. In fact, it can be quite complicated, especially for some older homes. You might find you have to change your insulation, you have to you know, change all your windows, you have to look at all your doors, you need to look at all your appliances, you need to look at your heating and cooling system. So if you do that from the very beginning when you're building a new home, you will then be prepared to go net zero if you need to go there or decide to go that way. If you don't, then it's okay. Your home is still ready for that. So when you're looking at a home or you're looking to buy a home or somebody talks about net zero, you need to be really careful if they only say to you, this home is net zero ready 
versus net zero, you need to really understand the difference between those two because there is a huge difference between them. This is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast and that you will consider to follow us and learn some tidbits and information about real estate. We have written a blog about this net zero and net zero ready, and we will put a link to our blog post in the description in case you'd like to read more to understand more about what it means for your home to be net zero versus net zero ready. We'd like to thank those who help us to produce this. The technical aspect of the blogs are not always easy. So we'd like to thank especially Rico who helps to make sure that this all gets together. Thank you so much for listening and we appreciate you in listening to our podcast.